Well done, Adrian. It was an excellent cranial nerve examination. Thanks. <laughs> the, um, uh, I guess when you're working in the emergency department, you need to be quick. You don't really have time for that sort That's of right. detail. Um, and I just wanted to show people that you can do a cranial nerve examination quickly. It can be easy, and it's not something you should leave out of any examination. I totally agree with the way you started. You, you, you introduced yourself. You asked if there were any problems with the patient. You're feeling comfortable? Very. All right. You don't have a headache at the moment? No. Okay. Have you had any operations? Not recently. All right. You don't have any funny tubes or things? Um, no. In your neck? Okay. And as you said, you must look around and have a, have a look behind the head. I noticed on house last night that uh, they diagnosed a scar in the cortex but missed the uh, surgical wound. The, uh, now, um, I want you to look at me. Can you see my whole ugly, ugly scone? Except for your hair. Yeah, thanks, mate. That's great. And, uh, and what colour uh, is my shirt? White. Very good. Whitish anyway. The, uh, I do all my own washing. The, uh, okay, now look at, look, look at my nose. Um, can you tell me which finger's moving? That good. one? Oh, both? Both? Very good. All right, look at my finger now. now. I'm looking for accommodation and the pupil's constricting. Okay, now keep looking at my finger. Do you see double anywhere? No. 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 Excellent. So now we've done the second, third, fourth and sixth nerves. As you did quite rightly did, the fifth nerve is very easy. Can you feel me touching you on both sides of the face? Yep. Does it feel the same on both sides? Feel the same. Can you clench your teeth for me? I'm feeling the masseters. That's terrific. Now just relax your jaw. Okay, excellent. And there's no uh, jaw jerk, which um, actually can be present in normal people, uh, I think about 15% of the time. But uh, if, it's, if it's present, it can be a clue to an upper motor neuron uh, disease. Can you raise your eyebrows now? Very good. And can you clench your teeth for me? Close your eyes tight and blow your cheeks out. All right, we've just assessed the seventh nerve. Um, he's obviously can hear, and it's one of the things I don't bother doing. So there's a lot of things I'm, I'm cutting corners here, but it, it can, it, it's, it's to expedite the examination and make it easy in the clinical context, and you don't need as much equipment. The, uh, can you open your mouth now? Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, give us a cough. <coughs> and I've just done the ninth, 10th, and 12th nerves, and as Adrian quite rightly said, I could hand him a cup of water and ask him to take a sip to see if he uh, aspirates that or, or handles it inappropriately. And you can twist your neck from side to side. So for a lazy bedside ED type clinical examination, uh, we've just done the cranial nerves. The next thing that's going to happen is Adrian's going to uh, examine Claire again and he's going to examine the, the long tracks of her arms and legs. Thanks.